Hey, this is Ryan from 60 Cycle Hum, the guitar podcast. And uh, just under a year ago, I put up a video titled, There's No Such Thing as Left-Handed Guitars. And it just took off like wildfire. That video is one of our top viewed videos and top interacted with videos with over 70,000 views on it. And uh, I think coming up on 900 comments or something like that, it's a lot of comments. Uh, so I kind of wanted to do a follow-up video to clarify what I was trying to say. When I recorded that video a year ago, I was just kind of sitting down and ranting on camera and I didn't really have the idea completely flushed out, I guess. And uh, I think a lot of people misinterpreted what I was trying to say, so it's worth some clarification. Um, I was not trying to say that there's no such thing as guitars that are built or manufactured to be a reverse orientation of a right-handed guitar. I wasn't saying there's no such thing as left-handed guitars in the way that you know they're commonly described and defined. What I was trying to say is that I think it's ridiculous that we decide like people's entire life handed orientation based on which hand they write with. That's one task we do in our lives. And these days we don't even do it that much. Like how often do we hand write anything anymore? I mean, I'm an artist. I draw, I use my left hand daily professionally. It's, you know, this is my moneymaker right here. Uh, when I'm doing my artwork and my graphic design and whatnot, I use a Wacom tablet and I'm always using it. Most people these days, when they're conveying information, they're typing with both hands. Uh, so it seems ridiculous to me that we still use our handedness with a pencil or a pen to define what we do with our hands the rest of the time. Like, is there anyone out there who literally only does things with one hand and never uses their other hand. No, that's ridiculous. And a guitar is a two-handed instrument, and there's tons of famous guitar players who are handed reverse of the instrument that they play. Uh, you can go look up the list. Actually, people commented all sorts of lists in the previous video. I'll scroll some names down here. People who play regular right-handed guitar, but right left-handed. It's a common thing. And that's something else that we discovered uh, in the comments section of the previous video is that there were a lot of people saying, like, yeah, I'm right-handed, but I play a left-handed guitar. Yeah, I'm left-handed, but I play right-handed guitar. It's very common. There's all sorts of players, famous and otherwise, who simply take a right-handed guitar and flip it over and got used to the uh, the heavy strings being, you know, the order of the strings being reversed from conventional. They have the heavy strings on the bottom and the light strings on the top. That's totally fine too. My point was never that people should only play one way. My point was that people should play the way that's most comfortable to them and they shouldn't let other people tell them which way to play based on which hand they use a pen or a pencil with. What does using a pen or a pencil have to do with playing guitar? It's a completely different physical discipline. It's ridiculous. And there were people in the comment section just laying into me, telling me that I'm damaging people by saying that someone who's left-handed can play a right-handed guitar, saying that I'm damaging young players and things like that. There's all sorts of different ways you can play guitar. It's a creative tool. It's a creative instrument. Uh, you should play it the way that makes you feel the most comfortable, makes you feel the most able to use it and gives you the most pleasure and confidence. Like it's a no brainer. Like that was really my point. Like I've had people like all sorts of people over the years who realize like, oh, you're left-handed, but you play a right-hand guitar. You should really stop doing that and this and that. I'm like, I'm already an established guitar player here. I've already got this locked down. Uh, I said in the, uh, the previous video that I'm not uh, well known for my rhythm playing abilities. That's not, that's not saying that I'm completely non-functional as a rhythm player. I can play rhythm if I want to. I can follow the, the beat and the timing. I can play just fine. I've played in bands as rhythm players. I've played in some situations where I'm a rhythm player. It's just, I, it's not my strong suit. Mostly because I don't really like it. When I started learning guitar, 
I wanted to learn to play lead guitar parts. I was enchanted with the instrumental surf rock songs I was hearing on the oldies radio station when I was a kid. And I wanted, I wanted to play Walk, Don't Run, basically. Uh, I didn't care about playing chords and strummy stuff. I jumped into guitar wanting to play through scales and lead lines and learn how to play melody lines. And so that's what I've been focused on uh, my entire guitar playing career. Career. Guitar playing hobby. It's a hobby, let's be honest. <laughs> but anyways, I have a list of other things I wanna go through here, uh, cover some ground, and then uh, I'm gonna put some of my favorite comments from the previous video up here as the outro. Uh, let's see if I didn't cover anything. I said, play was comfortable. Handedness is a spectrum. I covered that. You know, there's people who play all sorts of different ways that are counter to, uh, their handedness. Uh, also go look up videos of Jimi Hendrix signing, search that Jimi Hendrix signing. You will find nothing but photographs of Jimi Hendrix writing with his right hand. We're talking about one of the most famous guitar players of all time, most famous left-handed guitar player of all time, writes with his right hand. Oh, one of my favorite things that people were saying in the comments is if someone is new to guitar and they want to figure out which orientation of guitar they should play with, then they should just play air guitar and show you know the guitar salesman or whoever like how they play air guitar and that person will be like, okay, you're right-handed or you're left-handed as far as guitar goes. Like if you play air guitar like that, you should be playing a righty guitar because that's your first instinct. If you play air guitar like that, maybe you should be playing lefty guitar because that's your first instinct. I'm not attacking left-handed people. I am a left-handed person. Uh, once again, people really misunderstood what I was trying to convey and thought I was trying to do damage to the left-handed community. And I'm not doing that at all. I'm trying to empower people to have confidence to go with what's most comfortable for them and not what, you know, some salesperson in a store or, you know, some jerk on the internet tells them what to do. Uh, I'm not ambidextrous. People were commenting like, oh, you write with your left hand, you play guitar right-handed, you're ambidextrous. That's not what ambidextrous is. It just flat out isn't. Ambidextrous is when you can do the same task nearly or identically equally as well with both hands. If I could write just as well with my left hand as I can with my right hand or vice versa, because I write better with my left hand, then that would be ambidextrous. If I could flip the guitar over and play it just as well, reverse orientation, then that would be ambidextrous. I'm not ambidextrous. Completely ridiculous. Another point is I'm also saying, uh, you know, with the, this video series, now that there's two of them, that there's also no such thing as right-handed guitar. What I'm saying is that the, the guitar is independent of handedness. It's, it's like personal preference. And, uh, you know, there are more right-handed guitars available. So I think more people fall in line with that. I honestly wonder if there was an equal amount of left-handed and right-handed guitars available to the buying public if it would be a more even split between them. All right, well, this has been my uh, recap of my uh, rant a year ago. I guess this is my new rant, my updated rant on left-handed guitars. I think I'll play something with my dominant hand on the fretboard of a guitar and put some of my favorite comments from the previous video up on the screen while I do it. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me whatever kind of comments you want. Make them rude, make them nice. Make them neutral, I don't care. And if you really like this channel, please support us on Patreon. I'm gonna be using Patreon more and more uh, as the funds to, to buy things that I think you guys would like me to review. And that means that I'm reviewing things that I'm not paid to review, which means you can be sure that those reviews are very honest. I'll also have a link down below for a few left-handed guitars that I think are definitely worth buying. There's a left-handed version of that Squire Tele uh, available out there, and I love that thing. I think if you're a lefty and you're looking for a good playing guitar, you can't go wrong with that one. All right, later, guys.